Hi everybody, Honest John here. Like most people, I was shocked and horrified by the video that showed the murder of George Floyd. And even though the cop who actually committed the murder is now in custody, it should not have taken the amount of time that it did. He should have gone to jail the minute that video became public. And the three other cops who were with him should not still be walking around free. Maybe if they had been arrested, maybe we could have avoided some of the violence of the past few days. Now, probably not, because this isn't just about the murder of George Floyd. It's about years of pent-up frustration and anger that I, being white, can't possibly begin to understand. It's about thousands of black and brown people spending years in prison, not because they're guilty, but because they can't afford to hire a good lawyer, while white people convicted of the same crime get a slap on the wrist and are sent home. It's about always being treated as a suspect. Uh, it's about being followed by security whenever they enter a store. It's about the thousands of intentional and unintentional slights delivered by whites on a daily basis. It's about having to be frightened when your child goes out to play or your dad goes to work that they might run into the wrong cop and never come home again. It's about the hundreds of thousands of crimes that police have committed against the black community that were never caught on camera. And looks like the police, or at least some of them, still haven't learned. Last night we saw cops driving their cars into the crowd. We saw a cop on horseback deliberately running over a protester. We, we saw cops pepper spraying protesters even though they were walking away from the cops as they had been told to do. And other incidents of, of excessive force and gratuitous violence. But I can't just stop here because everything that went on last night is not necessarily the fault of the police. In many cases, the police acted with remarkable restraint as police cars were being torched and damaged by protesters and rocks and bottles and other projectiles are being thrown at them. Some of the protesters were looking to create violent reactions from the police. Sometimes they got it, sometimes they didn't. And many of the businesses that were looted and burned were black owned. And even if they weren't, they were in the community providing good services and jobs. If they don't recover, those things are lost. And it's a self-inflicted wound. We all have to remember that after the unrest dies down, there is going to be an afterwards. We are in the middle of a pandemic that is going to bounce back with even greater fury. Already over 100,000 Americans have died from it, and the crowds on the streets have provided it with a fertile breeding ground. And we are also in the middle of an economic depression, the likes of which we haven't seen since the Great Depression of the 1920s. And the recovery from that is going to be agonizingly slow, especially because we have a president who is not capable of creating a plan to pull the nation out of it. He will handle the depression as he has handled everything else, by trying to find other people to blame, by picking fights, by trying to distract from it, and by lying about it. And as far as improving social justice, this president is not the least bit interested in that. We are going through a terrible time in this country, and it doesn't matter whether you're black or white or whatever. Things are not going to get better anytime soon. Thanks for listening.